Morning. On Friday, European and American markets closed the session with a risk on tilt. So some indexes actually pushed to record highs. Again, they had already done so the session before. And then treasuries continue to be sold. So they're now tumbling to lows we haven't seen in six months. The dollar rebounded slightly as it has for a few sessions. And then gold fell a significant 3.4%. In the crypto space, the risk on tilt was felt as well, but with some volatility over the weekend. So on Friday, we rose to all-time highs of 41,980. On Saturday, we were flat. And then on Sunday, however, some selling pressure came in and pushed price down to 34,444. Buyers were there, though, so it's worth noting that we've rebounded to 38,320 since then, forming a long bottom wick, which suggests there's definitely some bullish sentiment or further action to come. On the other hand, looking at crypto quant uh, tracker for miners holding an activity, it seems to suggest that actually the pullback was caused by miners beginning to sell their coins in the lower 40 case. So just something to be aware of. Alts suffered during the retracement, but somehow ended up holding up uh, to their previous level in USD terms. So meaning they stayed on par or in some cases outperformed Bitcoin on the session. Relative to Bitcoin, the weekend was also an outstanding comeback by older proof-of-work coins, such as Monero, Dash, and Bitcoin Cash, even Ethereum actually, uh, really outperforming Bitcoin. Now, away from individual coins and price action, the volume across uh, spot exchanges on, on the weekend uh, reached record highs of 5 billion US dollar traded daily, uh, which definitely shows or highlights the fact that there's interest in the crypto space. Now, speaking of interest in the crypto space, the Bitcoin market cap now is nearly 7% that of gold. And then we also saw Bill Miller, a famous value investor on CNBC, essentially reassuring investors and saying that uh, being supportive of Bitcoin Bitcoin and saying the higher we go, the more money, money there is in the space, um, the less risky, the less volatile it becomes. Lastly, very interesting to see Morgan Stanley filing an SEC form um, reporting that they've got 10% uh, stake in MicroStrategy. So I'm guessing they want some kind of exposure to Bitcoin one way or another. That's it for me today. I wish you a great day and a great trading day. If you haven't done so yet, please like, please subscribe. It actually does help with the visibility uh, and also means you'll be updated when new videos come out.